Hey, Ghostbusters fans, got a really cool custom to show off today, courtesy of Charlie's Custom Toy Shop on eBay. So the big announcement for me this past New York Toy Fair was the reissue of the Kenner Classics Real Ghostbusters figures, these guys right here. But a couple of weeks ago on eBay, before that big announcement that uh, reinvigorated a lot of people's love for the Real Ghostbusters, I saw some really amazing customs on eBay and I want to unveil them to you in the most awesome way possible. Check this out. How awesome is that? Oh my god, that gets a full-fledged, hearty, unfinished business stamp of approval. There's a lot of stuff to go through here. I'm very excited about this stuff and I'm also very excited for all of the real Ghostbusters fans who might have some of the figures, but they don't have the proton packs to go with them. I see a lot of these real Ghostbusters figures at local toy conventions and toy shops. And of all of the uh, vintage figures, they're usually the most affordable. These guys only ran me about five bucks each, maybe 10 bucks. And they're the later releases, not the original uh, first run of the figures, but later on they, gave them different color schemes. They came with different colored proton packs. These guys, this one uh, is like a color changing one. When the water hits him, he, he gets slimed. And the reason they're so affordable usually is that they really aren't that much good. The, uh, the ones that are repaints of the originals with the holes in their backs for the proton packs uh, or the originals themselves, if you can find one. Here's another one I found at a local toy shop and uh, no proton pack. They're not much good without the proton packs. What good is a Ghostbuster that can't bust ghosts? So that's why they're so affordable and that's why these are so awesome. You can finally get Repro Ghostbusters proton packs for all of those very, very affordable Ghostbusters figures that you're seeing at your toy shows or in uh, lots on eBay. And uh, before I pull these all off the rack, I, I just want to show off the rack. This thing is amazing. This should have come with the Ecto. Uh, instead, it just has a big space in the back for the chair that fits on the roof of the Ecto. So you can either put this chair, which I've never been a fan of, and We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the chair can go on the roof or in the back, but this proton pack uh, rack uh, holds the proton packs very easily. It's not like they clip in and it feels like something is gonna snap because these uh, proton packs can be fragile. I was lucky enough to only break one. I uh, just snapped this arm piece on my Winston Zedmore and to this day, it is still taped up with my original repair job since I wasn't very good with the craggle back then. Uh, so the four proton packs, packs can sit on the rack and they're held pretty securely, but not so secure that you feel like you're gonna break it when you uh, pull it off. And the thing I really love about this is that it has a sliding feature on it so you can pull the rack out just like you do in the movie. So the whole thing gets installed really easily. Let's take a look at the rack on its own. Show off some of the fine detail. Nice glossy black. These are 3D printed, so they'll have the 3D printing pattern on them. And along with the four uh, holders, of the proton packs. This is a really awesome little extra detail too. Four traps on the end there. Not removable, just sculpted on, but awesome. A uh, trap for each Ghostbuster and just slides forward and backward. No problems. And to install, just like the uh, when you put the proton packs on the rack, doesn't feel like anything is going to snap here. You just slide it in, push it down, 
and it is secure. It's that is not falling out. And the other great thing is it doesn't even slide out. It's got a little tab here where you put your finger on it and you can pull it out. When you push it back in, it's held by friction enough that your proton packs aren't going to go flying. It takes just a few seconds to load them all up. Fill up the pack rack, slide it in, close it up, closes nice and flat. So it's not like uh, the, uh, the sizes are off and the door is gonna be sort of opened like that. No, it closes perfectly fine. And uh, in that Ghostbusters Firehouse video I did talking about the iconic moment of the Ecto bursting through the firehouse. Well, this is another little moment, but just being able to slide this rack out. And if you can't quite get a grip on the little uh, handle on the bottom, you can just grab one of the racks and pull the whole thing out. Man, I love that. That is awesome. And Charlie, by creating this thing, uh, has just made every single complete Ecto-1 from Real Ghostbusters incomplete. <laughs> I, uh, I cannot imagine my Ecto without this thing in the back. So, so awesome. Love it, love it. And in addition to that, there's one more reason why I believe every Ecto that was complete is no longer complete and that is the upgrade that charlie has made to the roof so originally was this chair which just wasn't a big fan of show you what this guy looks like in the chair got a little seat belt on it and your ghostbuster sits in the chair and it's just really weird to me to have a Ghostbuster on the roof. It was nice that you could fit an extra Ghostbuster. I guess you could carry all four of them in the Ecto, but not, not really my cup of tea. I prefer this right here. Look at that. Talk about unfinished business. That is amazing. It's all that gear, that ghost busting uh, surveillance equipment, gear on the top, now 3D printed piece, and it so easily fits in. You don't hear any creaking plastic when you pop it in. It's got enough of a grip that it's not just going to spin around on its own, but you can turn it upside down, even shake it. It's not going to fall out, so the tolerance here your driver is going to fall out, but the roof unit on the Ecto is not going to fall out. You can turn it a little bit. I don't know what this stuff is supposed to be, if it's supposed to be like a proton stream type of thing. And the detail on it is fantastic too. Let's pop it off and just take a closer look at this beauty right here. Bright red plastic. Got some detailing here. That is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Now they did release two versions of the Ecto-1 with the real Ghostbusters line. And some months back, uh, Chuck sent me a gift box that contained the second version of the Ecto-1, which for the second movie was called the Ecto-1A. So it was the same mold as the first Ecto, but it featured the Ghostbusters 2 logo all over it. Some more stickers, sticker detailing, uh, some a lot more like obnoxious advertising on it for hire. Got slime details, a lot more stickers. But here's the thing that's gonna make your Ecto 1A complete because Charlie has a roof rack for the Ecto-1A that is different than the first one. Just like the first one, it sits in snugly, but it is bigger 
It's got all that advertising stuff all over it. You remember in the movie how it had the actual the sign, the light bar, Ghostbusters, and on the other side, we're back. There's so much more stuff going on here than version one. Look at all this stuff. That is really, really cool. So now if you ever thought your Ecto-1A was just basically your Ecto-1 with extra stickers, what's the big deal? Now you can make them really, really different. So in addition to all of the extra stickers, now your Ecto-1A can also have this giant roof rack with all this extra equipment. Maybe there's a super slammer in there. Who knows, but that is just awesome. I love it. Fantastic. And with them reissuing the real Ghostbusters figures, there's probably a good chance that they'll reissue the Ecto as well. And that Ecto, in my opinion, will not be complete without this roof rack on it. That is so much better. than that. All right, let's take a look at the 3D printed Proton Packs and I'll do a comparison to one of the originals for you. Right here we've got one of the terrifying originals. This is how you break them. When you put the arm piece, the wand I guess, onto the Proton Pack, they tend to break when you try to clip them in there. I haven't clipped them in there in a long time. I'm not even going to try here. Uh, but when you compare the two here, it's, it's pretty obvious which is the Repro and which is the original one. It looks like the Repro is a new design. So there's not going to be any uh, confusion as to which is the original, which is the Repro. Uh, they look close enough to me that uh, this is definitely a proton pack that will go great with real Ghostbusters figures. And I like that it, I don't know if it's just my eyes deceiving me, but I like that it's a little bigger. It looks just, just a little bigger. Proton packs are supposed to be these big, powerful things. That circular part is just a little bit bigger. This is awesome. The originals had this yellow string and he has found the exact same yellow string from the original. It looks identical to me, same color, same texture. So if you have this original string burned in your mind, it's not gonna be a piece of yellow yarn. That looks exact. Now the real test is how do you remove this without breaking it, how does it feel? Because I've had some 3D printed material in the past that was really, really brittle and flimsy, and it broke. Not even from heavy use, just from, from futzing around with it. I'm gonna give this a little tug and see how we do here. Well, that was easy. That, uh, that to me looks a little more sturdy than the original one does. Not quite, not quite as fragile. I'm uh, gonna be careful with it at first here. And when you're pushing it back in, you don't wanna be pushing on this part in. You wanna try to grip the bottom part to pop it in and try to push down like that. that. I like the sound that makes. I can tell from the sound of plastic if it's gonna be brittle that snaps easy or if it's got like a nice like base to it that uh, that is incredibly sturdy I don't think that's as fragile as the new ones I, I just told you don't push on that <laughs> and I'm pushing on it because it's it's hard to get a good grip on it any other way but oh that's easy uh, stick your thumbnail in this gap right here that's it just stick your thumbnail in there and and push and it's in it's perfect easy so nice sculpting on it uh brilliant execution i gotta say on 
pulling these out. This is, uh, just remember, thumbnail in there. That's incredibly easy. Uh, and it feels much more sturdy than the originals. Yeah, these guys, that is so flimsy. You're going to break these pegs, or you're going to snap that. Just if they've kept the same design on the reissues, keep that in mind. These, Those are really fragile pieces right there. All right, so now that you've got the 3D printed uh, Ghostbusters Proton Packs, you can add them to your figures that didn't have any Proton Packs to come with them. And the real big advantage of these is that no stream. On the original ones, the Proton stream is not removable. It is stuck in there permanent. I always wish they could have been removable, uh, which is why so many of them are broken because they just have to always be going and these guys fall over and they snap. Plus, you won't be able to use these Proton Packs, the original ones, with the Proton Pack rack because of the streams. It won't be able to fit in the Ecto. So you would actually have to have the 3D printed ones with the removable streams, or I guess you could just break the stream off if you want to do that. Uh, so to uh, fit them on the figure, the pegs on these are uh, longer than uh, required. So since the whole design on these figures is, uh, it varies from the originals to some of the repaints. We got a Lewis Tully here. Uh, they seem to all have different designs in there. Like this one in there, it, lo it looks like there's a, well, just like a different type of hole. This is a, a full circular hole in there. Whereas this Venkman in here has like, I don't know what you would call it. It's almost like a, there's like uh, gaps in the hole. Uh, so in order to make these proton packs fit the best possible fit for whatever figure you have, the way they come right now, all of them, the, the peg is, uh, is longer than it needs to be. So it's better that it's too long than being too short. The only issue being that you got the extra, extra length there. So what you can do is just take a pair of uh, side cutters or pliers and just snip off the end here. So you want to take just a little bit off and keep snipping. That just pops right off. Just take a little bit off and then if you have to take off more, you take off more. So that looks a little bit better. Gonna snap off a little bit more. And this is just a regular pair of side cutters. Nothing special about these. I don't want these to be too short. And in order to get that um, uh, edge piece a little smoother from the cutting. All you got to do is just take some sandpaper and just uh, give it a couple of rubs with sandpaper, smooth that out a little bit, and that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So there's one of the uh, uncut ones and one of the one of the shortened ones it fits in there nice and secure if you see some stuff like this I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera but this is just uh, plastic from the 3d printing and it just comes off as easy as that it's like a hair when you push it in it's just like the originals it just fits in snugly push it in and give it a little bit of a twist and now Lewis Tully is ready to save the day again just needs his earmuffs okay now that you got your proton pack all hooked up it's time to add the removable proton stream and these are a new sculpt too 
on the original streams, they were just these squiggles. No real detail to them. The new streams have a lot more like a lightning effect to them and they come in a bunch of different colors. There is a pink one, maybe for Janine, a purple one, there's a yellow one for Winston, an orange one for Dr. Stance, red one for Dr. Spengler, green one for Dr. Venkman, so that's the one we will slide in there for now, and my favorite, no it's not white, it is glow in the dark. And that's another little detail that I always thought should have been there right from the beginning. Glow in the dark, proton streams, looks absolutely fantastic. And like the original proton streams, you can twist the end of them in order to get the stream to, to twist and turn. And these attach to the arms a little differently than the original ones did. A little safer, a little more secure. These original ones looped around the forearm and then the hand gripped the end of it. But with these uh, custom ones, they just slide over like that and they're less susceptible to, uh, to breaking. That is a nice bright green on the green stream. I think it might, gotta be careful not to cross the streams here. It would be bad. I think it's actually brighter, even brighter. And the original one was a pretty bright green too, but Nice bright stream, and you get a different look to it when you twist it. It's actually standing pretty well. My originals can't stand with the stream extended in front of them. They always fall forward. So this is the look you got on the original one. Uh, it's everywhere, <laughs> just like in the movie. These look a little more concentrated. I guess uh, they've perfected the technology and their aim is a little bit better with these. But that looks awesome. Love how that looks. All sorts of different colors. So easy to just pop it in, pop it out. Love it. Wonderfully designed. So that's the Repro Proton Packs with custom removable proton streams. But wait, there's more. And this is an especially awesome piece. Especially if you loved Ghostbusters 2 or parts of Ghostbusters 2. It is a slime blower. And I don't believe this was ever released in the original real Ghostbusters line, but it is so awesome to finally have a slime blower for a real Ghostbusters figure. Same deal as before. You can snip that peg to shorten it a little bit, but I think that looks fine for now. And the attachment is a little different. Uh, this one you want to be careful with. The, um, the, the cannon, the nozzle, is attached by a peg. And that's a, that's a long, narrow peg. So you're going to want to be careful when you, you want to shimmy it back and forth in as well as out. And I love how this thing is attached with two, two cables. That's really cool. Love that. I don't know if this is based on one of the later Ghostbusters figures made by a different company, but I just love how that looks. And it attaches onto the arm with this loop. Again, this doesn't look like it's going to dig in, pinch, or cut your figure. You just slide it on to the point where just getting it on so it's loose, and then you can slide it a little bit back, uh, twist it a little bit to secure it so that it's not rattling around and then it's on there tight. The slime blower uh, pack on the back is on there tight and now you have your choice of what slime you want to be throwing at the ghost. So there's purple slime or positively charged pink slime that is so awesome. Pop it into the nozzle. Works just like the proton packs. Got a little bit of an end here so that you can twist it. And for all those angry, nasty, negative people in your life, 
Just give them a, a good shot of positively charged pink slime. And they'll be clicking their heels and whistling Dixie. And the slime blower does in fact fit in the proton pack rack as well. Takes up a little bit more space, but fits in there nicely. And the rack will still close all the way. And now the rack can hold both proton packs as well as slime blowers. This stuff looks so awesome. Such cool little upgrades. Sometimes, uh, well, it's obviously great to get reissues of the original figures, but I love these little upgrades. Transformers has so many of them. People have made upgrades for G1 Transformers, like heads for Ironhide and Ratchet. Little tweaks, little augmentations. So I am so happy to see Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters from the 80s, get these little tweaks, these upgrades, just to make the original toys that we all have or we had even more special, even more cool. And you can't bust ghosts unless you find ghosts. So you can even get some of these meters, like a PKE meter, testing meter. I've been wanting one of these kinds of meters for my Dr. Spengler figure for a very long time. One of the later Egons came with a giant PKE meter, um, which is okay, but it just seems a little too, too big. So this is really awesome that now Egon and Ray can have their meters going and let the guys know where the ghosts are. This is a, this is an old uh, trap that came with one of the later Ghostbusters figures, but cool little meters, nice detail in them. Very, very, very awesome. Also available on Charlie's eBay store is a reproduction firehouse door. Another very fragile piece. Hinges on it are often broken. So now instead of shelling out the dough for a, an original, you can get an affordable replacement so that your doors can once again fly off the hinges as your Ecto bursts through the front doors. Um, just a note that the custom new tops for the Ectos, just like with the original chair, uh, they won't fit through the firehouse door. You'll have to take the top off to still burst through the firehouse door, but you can have the Ecto parked in the firehouse with the new custom tops. Absolutely love them. They add so much to the original Ecto. And I love <laughs> these slime blowers. They're so, so awesome. Just fantastic, fantastic work. Big thank you to Charlie. Thanks for sending these along. Really appreciate it. And I hope all the real Ghostbusters fans out there will appreciate these too. So much fun. Really adds a lot of uh, play value to these old favorites. It's so cool to have an extra feature for Ecto, like a proton pack rack in the back as it always should have. And if you can track down some of these uh, Ghostbusters figures, especially the later ones that are often missing their packs, uh, they, they had some glow in the dark guys which are missing their packs or or these uh, funky repaints of the Ghostbusters. They seem to always be missing their packs in my area. It's really awesome to be able to uh, gear these guys up now and have some proton packs on their backs. You can find them all on eBay at Charlie's Custom Toy Shop and he is also on Instagram at Charlie's Custom Toy Shop. He's a really nice guy. He is not a company or a corporation. He is a fan making cool customs for fans. So I think you're gonna enjoy dealing with him. Thanks a lot for watching guys and until next time, Nerd Mistake.